Hey, my sweet babies. So, um, it took me a minute to say what I'm getting ready to say because I want to make sure I'm not saying it in judgment. And I want to make sure I'm saying it from a place of love. Y'all, some of y'all have given me the title of auntie. And I'm honored that y'all do that, right? But there are times where auntie got to talk to her babies and say some real shit. So yesterday, I was in the airport in Atlanta because I'm in Jackson, Mississippi now at Chuckles Comedy Club, right? And we got three shows tonight. We got a matinee at 530, then we got seven, then we got 10, right? And I'm excited. I always love going to the stage. So when we got to the airport yesterday, I was excited, like, all right, baby, let's go get him in Jackson, Mississippi. And as we began to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, Blankets wrapped around them, and this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and headscarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home. Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride in myself. And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. I'm not saying you don't have pride, but the representation that you're showing, someone would have to ask you to know that you had it. So my sweet babies, for the ones that do call me auntie, I love you for real. Even the ones that don't, I love y'all asses too. But the babies that say auntie to me, Please listen to auntie. Always have pride in your representation of you. It's not to get a man. It's not. It is just your representation of you, my sweet babies. So I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, and you got a bonnet on and you got slippers on and you looking like what the fuck? Our Nikki going to tap you and say, hey, baby girl, show you what you worth. Show you what you deserve. So all of those posts that you see celebrities putting out there saying, hey, queen, hey, queen, hey, queen. Well, can we start putting it into action? So I'm asking our wiser sisters, when we see our little babies out there looking like they just don't care, and I'm not saying y'all don't, it looks like. Can we just tap them and say, baby girl, you deserve more than what you're showing. Represent you with pride, my babies. And that may be a part of us helping our community. Because if you look like you don't give a damn, how you gonna be treated? So when I say, hey queen, I can only say it to the sisters that it belongs to, because a lot of us are still in queen training. So if you're in queen training, stop being fearful of taking your position. And queens don't walk around with bonnets and headscarves and slippers and pajamas. That's for the house. When you go outside, represent you, baby, like you are worthy and you deserve the title of Hey Queen. Uh, Nikki, love y'all for real. And I ain't never going to BS you. Stop wearing them damn bonnets and head scarves looking like don't nobody give a damn about you, nor do you give a damn about yourself. Because you're beautiful. So represent it.
I love y'all for real. Hey, y'all auntie the spoke. And it seemed like she might have chose some motherfucking violence, man. <laughs> Monique popped out on Instagram, spoke on the situation of women, popping out in public with head scarves on, bonnets on. We just seen the bonnets get real popular in the game as of late, as far as getting talked about and shit like that. So, I ain't gonna lie, this shit can be looked at either way, dog. Because some people gonna look like some women, it depends on how you present it to but, man, you come out the house with your head wrapped and everything like that, flip-flops on, motherfuckers gonna look at you like, okay, you came out the house, however. It just is what it is. Some girls, they look better in their shit than others, just being honest, you know what I'm saying? Certain girls, they might have their hair wrapped and have a button on, but they look real pretty and presentable out, uh, with their shit on. But then some girls look like, damn, you just rolled up out of bed with this shit on, for real? Um, when I, when you go to the airport, you know motherfuckers gonna be comfortable on the flight. They don't want to fuck nothing up. They just be like, man, you know what? I'm just going to throw something on real quick. Some sweatpants, flip-flops, whatever. But I do get what Monique is saying. Like, damn, you know, why we ain't taking pride in our looks? Like, we pop out. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be dressed to the T. You ain't got to be everything on point. But, damn, why you coming out with your head wrap and your hair scarf on? Now, some women going to be like, hey, nah, fuck with Monique coming by. Come talk about it. Nigga, we trying to be comfortable on the motherfucking flight. If I'm just one in the Walmart... Or the grocery or the corner store. I say this. If you go into the corner store, lady, I, I can respect that shit. Like, the corner store, you just run into the corner store right quick, going back to the highs. That's smooth. You just run somewhere to get something to eat. That's smooth. But, like, going somewhere where you got to walk around an establishment, being in this and that, then it kind of like, uh, you know, to each his own, though, you really can't judge. I'm not really a fan of the bonnet, ladies. I ain't going to even lie. Like, I ain't going to even lie, bro. I really can't even, you know, bonnets is... It's one of them things, man. It's just one of them things. It's to each his own. I can't really judge. I I see it. I understand it. I get it. But I kind of be like, uh, damn, dog. Like, especially when you about to fuck with her. You about to fuck a woman. You about to fuck a chick. And it's like, god damn. I'm going to fuck you with this bonnet on your head. It's like, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That shit be different sometimes, bro. I'm like, man, take that bitch off until we done. Put that bitch back on that until we over with. <laughs> nah, for real. But Monique. She done popped out there with her shit, and uh, I know some motherfuckers gonna feel a way about that shit for shit show. Somebody sent that shit to me, I'm like, man, this shit crazy, the motherfucker. The shit that people get on the internet and say, and then it offends people and shit like that. So, subscribe to the channel, man. Urban Politics TV, tell me what y'all think. Fellas and ladies, how y'all feel about chicks in the motherfucking body? You know what I'm saying? She talking to the sisters. She damn sure ain't talking to no white women because they ain't outside with no goddamn buddies on. It is what it is, right? Stay on your pivot. 1,000 for shit show.